What's up, Brian? Hey, um, today I'm in the Hello Kitty mobile. So I got my Hello Kitty seat cover. Well, actually, it started last year. Anthea, for my birthday, got me a Hello Kitty car mat. And it was weird. I was at Pet Poison. I was trying to decide between Tinkerbell and Hello Kitty. It's like she read my mind. How does she know how I think? Like, But she decided for me. And then someone got me the seat cover. And then my children got me this little um, seat belt cover. The Hello Kitty seat belt cover. And they also got me a little bobblehead. If I can do this without... You know, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. So pray for me that I don't die in a fire car crash. But at least I'll be with Jesus. If I, they got me a little bobblehead. But the adhesive came off and I can't do that. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, so... What I wanted to talk about today, besides all that craziness, um, God has been talking to me about judgment. Um, it's not something I, I even want to talk about. I, I, I like to be positive. I, I, I'm looking forward to Jesus coming to take us home. And the only way this message can be positive is if you remember saints, bride of Christ, that when you see all these things happen, look up because your redemption draws nigh. But you know, in Matthew 24, Jesus talked about signs that we would see in the last days. And we see them all. You know, signs in the heavens, signs in the stars, the sun and the moon, the, the, the blood moons, the tetrad, the, the eclipses, all these things. I, I think these are all predestined. Even if they're astronomical signs, God knew mathematically when the orbit of the planets and, and, and how they revolve around the sun. and He knew all that thousands of years ago when Jesus told us about the signs. And also wars and rumors of wars. And, but particularly, the part that comes to mind this morning is where Jesus said, um, a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Brother against brother. A father against his son. A daughter against her mother or her mother-in-law. Um, a person's enemies will be the members of their own household. And that's what I see as God's judgment coming on our nation. Some of you have seen other things, tsunamis and tidal waves and volcanic eruptions and, and nuclear war coming from Russia. But what I see is a sword coming on our land, but not from another nation. It's almost like a civil war, a sword of us fighting against ourselves, a nation, a kingdom divided. And that's a form of judgment, the worst form of judgment. Jesus himself said, a kingdom divided against itself will not stand. They accused him of trying to cast out demons by the prince of demons, Beelzebub. And Jesus says, a kingdom divided against itself will not stand. And that was one of the most terrible judgments levied against Israel. Um, when Israel and Judah split, it was a, a form of judgment, okay? God divided the nation against herself and it weakened her greatly before the other nations. That's what I see happening here. I look on the news and, and we're, we're not kissing and making up like we used to in other elections. It's just getting worse and worse. Democrats vehemently hate Republicans, and Republicans completely despise Democrats. They can't even be civil in the news anymore. They're, they're using profanity, and all of our politicians are using profanity and calling each other names on Twitter. Um, they are literally, I've, I've seen it on both sides. They're literally killing people, shooting people, even in their own family, because they're a Democrat or because they're a Republican. Okay, that reached my maximum recording time there. I had to, to restart on, on this phone. But, um, yeah, pe people are literally killing each other due to their political differences. Um, and I feel like that is is a sword that has been brought on our land. That, you know, the, the, this, this widening rift as we are dividing against each other. And it's, it's going to make us fall as a nation, okay? We won't be able to stand before our enemies, before those who oppose us as America, as a nation, if we are divided against ourselves, if we are embroiled in our own civil war, then the other nations will simply divide us up and take, take the spoils, we, and we won't be able to do anything about it. And our greatest strength, our diversity, you know, America, the great melting pot, it feels like that it's been turned against us as our Achilles heel. Now we're fracturing along those cultural and, and racial and, and ethnic lines and, and political lines. And, uh, you know, here's something to think about. America is not the kingdom of God, okay? The kingdom of Jesus is eternal. The kingdom of America is, is temporary. It, America's going to burn. I'm sorry. You can't take the stars and stripes to heaven with you. All right? They're not going to have the American flag in heaven. No, it's, it's, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. 
America is not Jesus' kingdom. Jesus has his own kingdom, it's, and it's not a democracy, and there's no Congress, and no president, and no eagle, and, and no stars and stripes, and no Star Spangled Banner there. It's all about Jesus. And there's people of every tribe, and tongue, and kindred, and clan, and nation, and race, and ethnicity, and culture, and nationality, and every misfit and outcast you could possibly imagine are all a part of his kingdom. So, um, it, you know, America's going to burn, China's going to burn, Russia's going to burn. All these countries out there are going to burn. And only one will be left standing, and that's the kingdom of our God, of Jesus, of our King. So it's something to think about, something to reflect on. And I was actually walking out to this parking lot where this is work and we're, they're building a new building there. But I was walking out to this parking lot last year. Um, and this is back when, you know, the, the campaigns were happening. It was before Trump was elected as president. And I'll tell you, I've never had a waking vision before, but right here in this parking lot, this empty parking lot, I had to work late and I came out and I was like the only one here and I was standing in the parking lot. I had for the first time in my life, a waking vision. And it was weird. It was like dreaming while I was awake. It never happened to me before. And in the dream, I saw a lake of blood. And this whole area here disappeared. It evaporated. And there was just like this lake of blood, like a lake in a desert. Because all I saw was the lake and, and nothing else. And then there were like maybe, they looked like there was sand on the shore, like I was in a desert somewhere. But, but instead of being filled with water, the lake was filled with blood. And I looked into the sky and I saw what appeared to me to be a horseman riding. So there's a, a man and a horse, and somehow I knew that that entity was war. That was like the angel of, or, or, or the principality of, of war. And it was laughing, and, and, it, and it was smiling, this most demonic and evil and, and wicked smile. I had to restart my phone again. But I, I, I looked around, and I saw Americans killing each other. They were punching and kicking and fighting and attacking each other with knives, stabbing each other, shooting each other. Um, they were literally devouring each other. And it, it wasn't strangers. It was, it was literally brothers fighting each other to the death. It was literally a father and son and a mother and daughter. It was a horrible scene. And the more this happened, the more the person on the horse laughed, his evil laugh. It was a wicked riotous evil laugh and uh, i just i i it was it was a horrible scene and you know i don't think anything has ever happened like that in our nation since the civil war where we're literally brother fought against brother and uh, it was just a terrible judgment and and the more violence the more suffering the more pain the more death the more the 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 angel on the horse just began, you know, was delighted by it. He, he began to laugh. Um, and I don't know. I'm no prophet or prophetess. I, I, I don't, it's never happened to me before. You know, you could say maybe, maybe, you know, maybe I ate some spicy food and I was hallucinating. I don't know. Maybe it was a coincidence, but, but eventually I came back to the parking lot and that really flipped me out. This is right before Trump became president. And so all I'm saying, saints, is that I want you to understand, I want you to realize this, this, this is a sinking ship. America, the world system as we know it, politics, it's a sinking ship. You need to jump off of it and abandon it, and you need to jump on Jesus' ship, okay? That's the only one that's going to stay floating. Um, entire groups of people Jesus is calling us to share his love with. It doesn't matter their political party, Democrat, Republican, it doesn't matter their ethnicity, their race, their persuasion. He loves them all and he wants us to, to share his love with them. And he wants us to be peacemakers in these last days. Okay, so while all of these people who are sold out to their political ideologies are literally killing one another and hating and despising each other, Jesus wants us to walk out there among them as peacemakers. And we will be hated and despised as peacemakers because we don't take a side. But we will be hated and despised for his sake, not because we belong to a particular political ideology that according to the Bible, according to Jesus, is, is going to burn anyway. I'm sorry, but, but the Republican Party is going to burn. The Democratic Party is going to burn. America is going to burn. Okay? They're all doomed. Doomed. Completely doomed for destruction. And it's time for us to realize this is the end game. This is the last little bit of time before we 
we get ready to go home. So it's it's time to up our game, saints. We have to pull out of these world systems that we've been embroiled in. We can't be a part of it. We have to we have to understand we're aliens wandering this earth and, and, and we're ambassadors for Christ, so we don't belong embroiled in its political systems fighting in its wars. We need to have diplomatic neutrality as we walk out there among the lost and share Jesus with them. We we can't take sides in a in a world system that's doomed to destruction anyway. We can't cut ourselves off from an entire group of people who need to hear the gospel of Jesus, who need the love of God. So I feel like what God wants to say to you is it's time to it's time to leave those things behind. It's time to pull out. It's it's time to separate yourself. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her. Just like just like the prayer, what was said about Babylon, come out of her, my people, that you share not in her torments and her punishments and her judgments. Come out of her political systems. Come out of her culture. Understand that you are an alien from another world now. You are a creature from another world. You belong to another kingdom, Jesus' kingdom, and you are here only as an ambassador, a stranger, a sojourner, a visitor, just passing through as this world comes to its doom, comes to its end. And our only job, until he comes to take us home, until our redemption draws nigh, the only job left for us is to be an instrument of grace and share his love with as many people as we can, no matter who or what they are. Come out of her, my people. Separate yourself from her. Come out of her, my people. Separate yourself from Babylon. Because she will be judged. The great harlot, the whore, who rides the beast, she will be judged. The judgments will be coming from all different directions. Natural catastrophes, who knows? Volcanoes and storms and tsunamis and earthquakes. Other nations. War. But I believe one of the most fearsome, one of the most horrible judgments will be civil war. Will be... The judgment of a kingdom divided against herself, a nation devouring herself and turned against herself. Sure, pray for America. Pray for your country. Love her. I, I love America. But understand our place in this world. We're in it, but we're no longer of it. If you've come to Jesus, you're an alien. You don't belong here anymore. You're not a citizen of earth anymore. You are someone who has diplomatic immunity. You're, you're an ambassador for Christ. And, and we're out there, but we're no longer of it. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her and get ready. And don't be discouraged. No matter how bad it gets, no matter how dark it gets, remember what Jesus said. Look up, bride of Christ. Look up and be encouraged and have hope for your redemption draws nigh.